everyone thank you so much for joining me now today I want to show you how to stretch your stash if you have layering dies the chances are you can probably create some layering stamps from them also now layering stamps have been a thing in the craft industry for a long time but they do come at a pretty penny and now you can make your own so I've got my layering dies that I've chosen here and I can do this with pretty much any layering die set but I love these floral folk art butterflies as you can see we have a base a middle layer and a top layer and then there is also the body as well so I've got those and the dies can actually create a card like this so you've got the beautiful stamped images instead I'm going to be creating a different card with the same stamps that I've made and I'm going to show you how I made the stamps as well so you can recreate the look with your layering dies that you have at home so what you're going to need is some fun foam um, I use children's craft foam it's really inexpensive now if you can find yourself some foam that already has one side as an adhesive backing, that's ideal, that's perfect. If you can't, then just something like some double-sided tape will work as well. Now you're also going to need a clear plastic. I like to use shrink plastic because it's extremely durable, very thick. Or if you have a really strong acetate, alternatively, if you love recycling, uh, grab yourself some plastic packaging. Something that's not too flimsy so it will hold its shape uh, like so when you hold it and it doesn't sort of flop down so I've got myself that now I've already die cut the body of my butterfly this is the last bit that I need to do now I've already created the others from black foam this is a piece of scrap cream foam ivory foam that I had the color really does not matter so I've die cut that now a little tip for you when you're running this through the die cutting machine when you run it through do not run it back again if you run it back again you're going to double cut because the foam will pop out of the die when you run it through the first time and very often I know like me I'm lazy I run my machine through and then I run it back again so the plates are near me but that will cause a double cut when you're cutting foam so just getting rid of my excess there and I'm going to use a little bit of double-sided tape because my foam isn't adhesive I'm going to place my tape down onto my piece of cards, uh, sorry, acetate there or plastic, peel off the backing and just pop my foam on there. Now the foam should keep its shape quite nicely. And what you can do now is take yourself an anti-static bag, if you wish. So this has got an anti-static powder in and just dab at that tape. Um, if you've got a small piece like this, that will just take the stickiness out of the tape so you're not catching yourself on it. So here are my three layers that I've already pre-prepared and used in projects in the past. I just didn't have the body ready, but as you can see, I've created these in exactly the same way. Just simply die cut them, but these were an adhesive backed foam, so really helpful. Now you can buy adhesive sheets that you can place on your foam before you die cut through both layers. They're really nice and easy to use as well. Now it's good to have a really good range of inks for this if you've got them because you're going to want at least three colours for your layers um, and then maybe a black or something for the body of the butterfly. This will depend on your layering die and how many layers you're going to actually use for your stamping. Now before I think about the amount of colours that I'm going to use, I'm going to just map out very roughly and I can use all three stamps here. How many of these uh, uh, colours I'm going to need. So this has taken me a little while to work out. I've got purple, pink, yellow, green and then blue at the bottom there and it goes light, mid and dark for each one. So I've got these all planned out. Now of course if you don't have this many colours in your inks then don't panic. You could do something like this simple card. You could do a monotone card with all the butterflies being the same three shades or three colours different shades of the same color it's entirely up to you just work with what you've got or not got so i'm going to map out the center of my uh, card here and then i'm going to start stamping the first thing i'm going to do is stamp the uh, solid piece there and i'm going to do this with the lighter color so just pressing down with my fingers if you want to attach this to an acrylic block or something like that you can do so but I just find my fingers are much easier because I'm going to be doing lots of back and forth with this lots of to and fro between colors so just using my fingers instead of attaching platforms or blocks is much much quicker so for this particular card now I've done my first layer I'm going to 
do two more, one either side, keeping them at around about the same level. So that's my first layer done in the lightest colour. For this one, it was squeezed lemonade. Then I'm going to go mustard seed, which is my mid one. So that will be my middle layer. And I'm going to stamp this directly over the top. It's really handy if you can get your head over and see exactly where you're stamping. But I'm not going for perfection with these. Now again, I'm going to repeat this on the two side butterflies. And lastly, my third layer, my top layer, is going to be in the darkest colour. So you can see there how they come out absolutely beautifully. Now I'm going to repeat this across this line and then I'm going to do the other two colour lines above and below. still with me with all of this it does take a little while but it is so worth it look at the amazing results that you can start to get when you start mixing your favorite colors together so how cool is that you've got all your different color butterflies now all lined up with three layers each as you can see my choice for the green wasn't great because the uh, base layer and the middle layer kind of blended in a little bit together but that's fine it happens you'll start to learn i mean look at that purple that is just amazing so now i'm going to use the body and i'm just going to do the body in black i think i'm going to do these all the same color There we go, so there's the black bodies of the butterflies on. I think that really finishes that off as a background nicely. Now I've got a few little smudges where I got water and ink on the uh, shrink plastic backing of the stamps. So um, I don't worry too much about that. I go for a pretty laid back look, but I am going to just smooch one of the colours. So I'm going to go with the pink and I'm going to add a little bit of water to it and just do some splattering of this colour only over here, just kind of to disguise any areas and make it look purposeful. So once I've done that, I'm just going to stick this down onto my card base and put a sentiment on. So there's the finished card we've made. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? I love that. I love doing that in different color tones. You could do just like red through to corals, oranges and yellows, keep it all quite tonal, or you can do rainbow colors as I have. Keeping it much quicker and simpler, just doing a few there is another option for you. So I've used the Floral Faux Art Butterflies, but honestly, try this with any layering die set that you have at home already. So thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again very soon.